Good morning, everybody. Welcome back to another edition of Tech Talk Fridays with Alex and KJ. KJ, yes. Today we're going to be talking about a little bit about speakers. Awesome. All righty. So we use a lot of Sonos here. Yes. Can you explain what this device is? Okay. So this here is a Sonos Arc. Uh, so it is considered a sound bar. Uh, we mount this under an extreme amount of TVs. Um, gives you just insane quality of mm -hmm. sound for uh, just normal TV viewing, uh, even gives you a surround sound experience with Atmos. Uh, there's actually speakers in here that face up so it actually hits the ceiling then bounces back towards you so that you get that front to back motion uh, sound we were talking about before. And then along with it's also app controlled so that you can just listen to music when you want to. You don't have to have the TV on. Uh, I can just fill your living room. So it's kind of a nice all in one device. And you can actually control it a set from the TV. So yeah. if you want to listen to music and not watch TV, exactly. you can do yeah. that as well. You don't have to do that. And then you can also add other speakers in the house to, to pair with this as well, just to give you that whole whole house experience. Perfect. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And in ceiling speakers. Yes. So that's a good way for surround, correct? A good way for surround, yeah. So with the Sonos system, you can actually add either in ceiling speakers or external speakers uh, to become your surround. So you can do the 5.1 setup. Um, so in some living rooms, especially where they don't mind having the sound bar below the TV for the look, but they would like some kind of recessed in ceiling option. Um, we can put those speakers in, hook it in with a Sonos amp, and then it all ties into the Sonos system to be surround sound. So when you're watching TV, you'll have surround sound. When you turn your TV off and you just want to listen to app control, then now you have full stereo in your living room. We also do landscape speakers yes. as well. Yep, landscape speakers. So if you want to carry the audio all the way to the outdoor, uh, we do some external mount from, you know, a, a deck soffit area. Um, but then when you're looking into kind of the garden areas or around the pool where there's landscape, you need to get audio a little bit closer, let's say to the pool than it being so far away from the deck. Uh, we'll kind of hide it in the, the plants and the landscape and all that stuff. It can look really cool. Then they have these massive subs that you can dig into the ground. So it just looks like a little brown mushroom. And with that, you would want amps to control your zones, correct? Absolutely. So what we preach most in uh, any kind of audio setup is you don't just want to have one volume control for the whole house or for separate areas. Um, what might be considered a good volume in one space might not be a good volume in another space. And that's especially even outdoors and stuff too. But let's say by the pool, you have kids splashing around and it creates a lot more noise just from that. So you want to be able to turn the volume up of your landscape speakers that are surrounding the pool. But then when you're back in your deck and there's people sitting down, they're a little bit further away from the pool. Those speakers that are in that area, you can turn down a little bit so it's not like it's blasting that area. So if you have more amps, that means that you can have more of that control. Perfect. All right, guys, I'm gonna go into a little bit of a demo. Um, KJ talked about the app. We have some footage of the app um, from earlier. So right now, I'm in my office and we're in the conference office with the ARC. So just hit and play quick. This is all from an app. I can do this by a touch of a button. I can turn this up a little bit down and again that's all direct from the app this has been tech talk fridays with alex and kj thanks guys